What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off where we left off, we are crossing over from Riga into Yalgava and we have to attack this Prussian army holed up inside. But we've got to bear in mind, they have lots of elite troops and they have a set of mortars, so we must be careful. So this will take a bit of a bit of work to uh, pound the, the city into submission. So without further ado... Let's fight. I've been swinging my forces around to the west through Russia. Obviously Russia has been destroyed and is now part of the Ottoman Empire. And now we can begin a broad front approach against the uh, building up our forces in, in reserve ready so we don't get too screwed over. Okay. So I've got my full artillery set up, got my howitzers set up. So I probably want my skirmishers and two units of infantry in the front. Maybe backed up with pikes. And then I'd want these chaps to be my assault divisions, which will be on the right this time. But we've got to bear in mind, and we don't know quite where these Prussian reinf reinforcements will come in from. So we've got to be ready to... Uh, Change our deployment, and they're coming in right behind them. So let's just bombard. Oh, look at that for a quick climb. First volley. 40 fusiliers and 100 line infantry guards dead. Something similar has showed it has happened on this flank as well. This unit of marines, they lost 200 men. So let's get my pikes up front. their general. So the reinforcements are en route. Grenadier Guards, Light Horse, Swiss Pikes, Lancers, Bosniaks. They look pretty good. More su superior line infantry. But we very much want to make a breach and then we can start hammering any people that line up to defend the breach with quick line. Guards up front. To be honest, keep quick climbing this big block of men here. We'd like to make a breach sooner rather than later because they are being quite belligerent when it comes to firing their guns. Sooner or later, they'll do some damage. Quick line. Oh, yes. So the militia take a douse of it too. Yeah, quick line really does change the uh, the calculus for for sieges. It really does. Still, let's speed up time a bit because all we're doing is. Attacking the same sections of wall. Get one quick climb unit to attack the militia that are just hunkered down. My other infantry focus on knocking down this section of the wall. Although it would be cool if we could 
knock this section down and trap them all up there. But I doubt they'll let us get away with it. So we may as well quick line them as they're so densely packed together. So in comes the quick line. Slightly off to one side. It's a lot of militiamen dying. A lot of militiamen dying here. Here come the other reinforcements. Swiss pikes in particular would be nice to kill because I don't want to be fighting pikemen in the breaches. So again, just speed up time a little bit more because all we're doing is dropping quick climb on this bunch and over here and also firing artillery at this section of the wall. See if they fancy actually charging out because they've, they've done this before. Oh, that was a good quick climb hit. We've done this before where they've ran men up to the gate. I mean, quick climbing that would be good, but I don't know if it's even possible to do that. Just set one of them to try quick climb the, the lances, I suppose. Actually, one of you get the fusiliers, the other one continue with this gap over here. Because right now, this is quite a good line, quite a good strong battle line, really. There they are. These guys are very kindly just sucking up a whole bunch of artillery fire. Okay, now get into square. Bring my Semat Janissaries back to counter charge. Okay, one of my gunners hit the Grenadier Guards. Yeah, they go after the Fusiliers. But these cavalrymen should be done for. The Semat should be pretty devastating it. So I think the Lancers, they're good on the charge, but in the actual combat they're pretty terrible. Not terrible, they're just not good. Seven men remaining. Good hit, sir. Bang on with the fusiliers. This is turned into Charnel House of the Dead. I thought he's bugged again. whole section's wa wavering. Let's pick some new targets. Go for the superior line infantry. When we've made this breach, I'll set my artillery to do round shot and they will counter battery these mortars and then we'll march up. As long as I have my second breach, that is. Oh, look at that. But yeah, when I get my second breach, we will start to drop, drop artillery in, push in on, on, in all directions. One more volley should probably do it. Yeah, one more volley will definitely do it. Then we will be off to the races. There it goes, lots of men fell from the walls.
There we go. Counter battery, the mortars. My field artillery keep engaging the men on the walls. Push up. So the, as the round shot goes in, they will kill. They will kill cavalrymen. So even though they might not be hitting the the uh, artillery, the mortars in a way we would like. Good, they're firing. Got a bunch of my own dudes from fire. I just for the mortar, but the good win is all these misses. The misses that we're doing against the count for the misses that are missing the artillery are still doing a lot of good stuff for counter battery work. Actually, get my run my pikes up a bit faster than the bulk of my forces marching up to the gates. Genesis Grenadiers secure the fort. Semat Janissaries run to secure the gatehouse. Get some Misarades up on the wall. Pretty much just keep. Get men ready in position. though. Well these are uh, second band riflemen so they're not terrible. My pikemen may be repulsed from the breach. Yeah that's fair enough. Cavalry out to this flank. It's the Janissary Grenadiers attack them. Semat Janissaries also attack them. Come on, kill the second foot guards, and then I can just attack. Pikes to run through and attack the Grenadier Guards. A lot of men swamping the cavalry at the front gates. They might even come back. Mortars have routed.
captured one gatehouse. Should bring my general a bit closer, really. So it says they're winning, but they're so penned in, I don't see how they can be. Swiss pikes there, so I don't want to send. I'm going to send my general in. I want my janissaries on the wall to pour fire into their flank. Quick line. That's no good. You guys run over and secure. No, you guys secure this gatehouse. You guys get down off the walls. Although it looks like the counter, it looks like the quick climb has actually done more harm than good. This gatehouse is ours. You should let us in. When is Emma holding strong against the Grenadier Guards? Those guys can counter... Well, those guys, my other uh, Mamluk Guards, can charge into the back of the Grenadier Guards to provide my Nizam some support. You guys don't fire. Now it should become a big mess. Come on, one gunner. Kill the gunner. Quick climb. It's, can't fire far enough. Field artillery gunners. You men run down here to help secure the the central plaza. Front men in. You should be trying to fight those guys, although they're not, looks like they're not going to let you. Now it's everyone versus the Swiss Pikes, who should be very upset because they're being charged. Yeah, they've been hit from every direction and now they're going down. Well, that probably means that everyone has collapsed. They have. Good stuff. We have taken Russian territory from their empire. The city is ours and they hate us for it. Religious unrest 9 4 predicted. That's quite useful. Um, but. Oh, Riga's still converting. You building a... Okay, you've got a madrasa, so let's move the priest forward to begin the conversion. You're still waiting for these guys to march back. Everyone else is... waiting. Setting up. I know you guys might be thinking, why am I waiting so long? I'm waiting so long because I can't... When this goes off, I need to make sure I do it right. First try. 
Take you and the Samat out of Ankara. March over to Tbilisi, so when we when we move we want to hit Dagestan as well. So Kazin, do you have a madrasa? No, it looks like it's all just all just uh, industry buildings. So Komi, still converting. Archangelsk. I've jumped the gun a bit with you, but that's where this guy will move afterwards. Okay, you. Vilnius has a madrasa. So then this really good priest can march on to Konigsberg. Because we've st we can still every time we build a build a madrasa, we can still keep converting the population without a religious uh, cleric. So we obviously want to keep our clerics moving forward. Okay, no new techs on the horizon. But everything seems pretty stable. Generally. Um Sarajevo fully Islam not yet you guys are replenishing so I know yeah someone has commented that lots of fighting happens here yeah that's kind of by design it's forcing them to have to keep troops here and away from this front line because if you look actually my front line is actually fairly thinly held I have no money to replenish so I don't want to attack this chap yet Yep, so Colin is ours, except we'll try and ease them up from a tax perspective. We can't build the, upgrade the palace. All we can do is uh, keep wearing them down, because bear in mind we are fighting against an empire that consists of uh, the strong, well, now the strongest nations in Western Europe. So we do want to be, we need uh, more men. That's an inevitable fact. Right now we, right now we're at, we're at a real risk of having a thin line of troops with no real deep support, which if we lost a major, fortunately we're not at war with Spain, um, but if we lost the, uh, if we lost a an army in a bad battle, then we are at serious risk of losing, or having a big hole blown in the side of our line, which is not good at all. But I digress. Yeah, so lots of battles in Hungary are kind of inevitable, because that's kind of why those armies are there. There's lot it's keeping lots of their troops um near the Austrian capital rather than the front line. I mean I know the situation looks worse than it is because they've got lots of smaller stacks rather than uh complete armies. But we do need to be careful because they do beat us quality wise one for one. The Murray Sweden, we're going to be coming after you as well. And we're also going to go check on the. Okay, they, they demand Afghanistan for Upper Louisiana. No. Yeah. So now we're at War of the Mughals, which is like the last thing I wanted. The very last thing I wanted. Um, if necessary, I'll give up. I will give up. Uh, territory up to Persia but Persia will be my my red line. Persia is where we will defend because we can support that quite well with men recruited from Bag from Baghdad 
but this may also be an opportunity to send men from their colonial lands. So on 59,000 a turn. Obviously you're unhappy. Let's upgrade this fella to a Turkish bath and pick up some farm upgrades. Lots of military upgrades. So, Persia, fortify. Mughals. Let's do peace and trade and offer Afghanistan. I'm happy to do that because I really don't want to fight them. Really, not yet. So, this army can fall back to Baluchistan. You guys need to keep replenishing as much as possible. So Ukraine is also building up a good army. Do we have a... No, no religious building here either. Kiev. Okay, let's get some... Janissary Grenadiers, got some Janissary Musketeers, some Janissary Grenadiers, and then another unit of Nizam. Um, Moscow, I'm not quite sure what else we recruited for this guy. Melee infantry, well, foot artillery. That's what we need. That's what we want, but I don't know where I recruited it from. Um, but let's mark, let's just march them up to the front line, and they can pick some up nearer the front. So Vilnius pick up some 18 pounders. Get you guys replenished and then go down to Egypt. One more turn until they finished recruiting. Let's look at the place of estate here. Don't really need a Turkish bath. Start to build another fleet. Not that we desperately need one, but this fleet will probably be the one to ferry the army from Cairo west. Although I haven't just made peace with the, uh, I have just made peace with the Mughals. We can't really attack them, so we might end up finding some initial footholds in the pirate territories, and we can actually take Guyana because they're both owned by rebels. But we want, to, we want to just keep building up our empire. Yeah, this should you should settle down pretty quickly. You upgrade your madrasa just to keep the population converting quicker. So if I hit you, Mr. Styrum. Oh, it's just them. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take him out. <clears throat> so I do want to keep chipping away and moving forward. That's a definite goal we want to have. For the grand battle plan. Okay, guns up on the hill, firing over my men. How it's deployed further forward. Quick climb up and ready. Form a musket battle line. Okay, who have I picked that's drastically under strength? It's my elite units. Because they're 188 men rather than 300. Drop some melee infantry around them. Put my light cavalry and my camels together, put my heavies on the left, general in the centre.
bring my man into position. Royal Curassier Guards. Damn sight more capable than the, than the cavalry I've got. First Horse Guards, Alt Medina Curassier. First of all, I have my Grand Grenadiers against the second Horse Guards. Field artillery. Engage their front line. Pull you guys back because we need to push on the right instead. Musketeers, Israeli, Samat. There they are. Deploying to square. Keep my cavalry away. Counter charge with my. No, don't shoot them. You have to attack the Curassiers. You guys charge in against the Curassier guards because they could break this square. Fortunately, we got some quick climb hits. Let's make sure we retarget our howitzers. And also, make sure we uh, do run our line. Engage the hussars. Charge the semi janissaries in. You're perfect for a quick climb hit. You guys charge on into the regiment of dragoons. You get back. Okay, let's stretch our lines out properly this time. Mamelukes hitting the fusiliers, camels. Also hit the fusiliers. So much so my infantry can actually ignore them now. There you go, my men are just about going to beat the first horse guards. Just about. Pick new artillery targets such as these hussars to the rear. There you go, you charge the Grenadier Guards in the rear. Should make them a bit uncomfortable from a morale perspective. There we go. Gonna lose a bunch of camels to these defences. Annoying, but not a massive problem. Let's keep all our cavalry that side of it for now. Counter charge. Let's 
So we've got the Samite Janissaries in, attacking the General's Bodyguard, so they should go down fairly easily. Let's push up the infantry pass to that combo. Got artillery engaging the square formation. Mamelukes engage the Fusiliers. Camels march over here. Everyone's going to get away. Oh well. Continue battle. And there we go. Speed up time. Stop the artillery. Whoa, stay away from those damn... Those damn spikes. There we go. And everyone else continues to charge down the infantry. Good stuff. That's the seventh destroyed. Move up against the sixth. Everyone go after them. Let's destroy this last unit of infantry. Oh, there's some over here as well. There we go. Now these are the, all the only chaps that remain. He did not make it as far as the fence line. Close victory. That was a good win. That's what that was. Chopped up a Austrian army for breakfast. On a march. Um, there we go. You guys can just about replenish. You move, move a bit more to the west to cover the gap. You could probably attack into the centre, really. Because we're moving... We are marching in towards Poland. Towards Warsaw, I should say. You march up to Senasi Ali. So, if I attack... No, I don't want to attack and then call in reinforcements that causes me to retreat. I don't want to lose my position yet. Everything's built. Yeah, we're just on strike. We're dealing with it. Everything's been done. Tactical retreat away from Mughal territory, which is fair enough. We are fortifying Persia. Probably want to build a garrison to cover the northern approach. But we've got time for that. One more turn till the Cairo uh, garrison is done. So let's hit end turn. As our men continue to march on. Uh, they demand an alliance and they offer me 12 grand for the privilege. Yes. I suppose they they offer me they offer you money because they break an alliance with you that they actually want, but they can't afford to have. I mean, we are now not allied with Spain, so that's now a problem. But you'd like to think they'd focus on the Swedish, considering they have you know invaded and taken their territory. But whatever. Yeah, they are building up their forces. But that's all to the good. The more they build up, the more they focus their forces, and the easier it will be for us to destroy them in due course. Come on, pressure.
<laughs> I mean, it's moments like this. I don't really know what to say because all they're doing is just shuffling around and doing what they're doing. Like, there's not really a lot, of, a lot I can actually, you know. Ooh, they're moving them over here. They're moving them over here. They're moving them over here. What am I supposed to say? <laughs> They demand the 12 grand we've just been given. No, sod you. You ain't getting nothing. You're going to get invaded and become part of our, part of the greater Ottoman Empire and there's going to be nothing you can do about it. As long as we keep the Moogles sweet. That's what matters. Really? <clears throat> That's what matters. We've got another Shashin. Infiltrate Tripoli, because that's another target of ours. Got another Shashin all the way back here. I mean, we've got a lot of visibility. Okay, let's try to get you into Prague. Tired of the people. So, Mr. Effendi is, is not as good at finding converts, which is fair enough. Workers have rioted in Courland, but now they're happy because we've built the government building and everything is hunky dory. So I want both these armies to march on Königsberg. Uh, let's take okay, you three in the Sipahi are definitely going back. Probably this unit of infantry and this unit of infantry. So this army can march up to the front. You guys just sit in, sit in Vilnius for now. Keep rolling out the road upgrades. May push them forward to attack. Can now replenish that farm or that industrial building now. Keep the farms going, keep the madrasas upgrading. New port emerges in Crimea. Just build another trade port. We have no real need for anything else. Pick up some of these top buildings. It's also upgrade the naval Imperial Naval Engineers School. Just keep rolling out all of our Empire building. Um, so let's go down to Egypt. So now this navy. First of all let's get the galley out. Let's get them aboard ship. It's a very green army. No one has any experience. sail off to the Americas. If you can get there, I haven't really thought about it. They intercepted by the uh, by the Swedes, but whatever. Eh, yeah, that'll be fine. So let's get Scanny back in port. Let's get Just a bit of a garrison, because we don't have anything anything in the southern part of our empire to really defend it. So let's just build up our forces just a little bit. Okay, so that Moscow force. Oh, I remember I was recruiting artillery for the Moscow army. How 
How goes the Ukraine recruitment? Still going on. Let's get some semi janissaries and some hand mortars. Good. How are we on for cash? 60 grand are on now. A lot of trade. So we've upgraded. Well, we don't need to upgrade the. Well, we can't upgrade the Naval College here. It's only in our capital. Army Staff College has been upgraded. The large addresses has been upgraded. Just go pick up some of our other industrial buildings that may not have been seen. There we go. Pick you up. Pick up the Palatial State. Pick up the mine. Here's our pick up the Turkish bath. Good stuff. Three turns to Saratov. He's grown. I, I would turn it to a madrasa, but I may as well just march them out because he recruits at about. It'll take him about 10 turns or so to finish recruiting the population, but he may as well do it. The artillery and the janissaries are marching up to Tbilisi. Get some bashis because you can always trust the bashis, and then we can also get a couple more Israeli. And then we're done. Um, but what I'm probably going to do is I've overran massively, so I'm going to call this the end of the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of the Ottoman Empire. Cheers, everyone.